Lee Freelander is an American photographer born in 1934. He was born in a small community in Aberdeen, but took his talents to Los Angeles. Lee developed his skills in photography and briefly studied at the Art Center College of Design. Lee is known for his numerous monographs, which include, but are not limited to, Sticks and Stones, Self-Portrait, Letters from the People, and At Work. These monographs capture a range of subject types, such as landscapes, nudes, and portraits. In 1976, he developed and published The American Monument, which is a book of 200 pictures from across the country. Lee photographed monuments, parks, cemeteries, and anything else that captured a soulful America. Father Duffy is one of the photos from the American Monument, and it was taken in 1974 in Times Square in New York City. The statue is of war hero Francis Duffy, but it is surrounded by cables, street signs, and the bustling world that is Times Square. Mount Rushmore, South Dakota, was taken in 1969, showing the reflect reflection of the famous monument, but with more focus on the many tourists surrounding the area. East Coast War Memorial in Battery Park, New York, was taken in 1974, which depicts a large eagle statue, and faintly on the wall next to it, the roster of those lost at war are engraved into stone. This image shows the range of seriousness that Lee captured through his art. Lee's process included working primarily with 35 millimeter or Hassel super wide cameras and almost exclusively black and white film. Those close to Lee say he spent hours a day in the dark room developing his art. Aside from Lee's own publications, his work has been honored in numerous galleries, including the Museum of Modern Art, the Victoria, the Albert Museum in London, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York, and the Art Institute of Chicago. His images also use other techniques beyond color. In this image, the negative space to the left of the stone is intriguing to the viewer and adds to the contrast between the light sky and the textured stone. Lee had a lot of experience with human subjects in his collections of nude photography. Topless Bridesmaid, taken in 1967, is currently held in a gallery in San Francisco. This image uses soft black and white scales, which create a delicate representation of the model. This is my favorite image as it almost appears accidental because the model's nonchalance. Lee's work and legacy are important to photography because he did not follow typical compositional conventions, and he was one of the first to show the photographer's relationship with their surroundings. In my personal opinion, I think the two categories Lee's photographs fall under are ethically evaluative and interpretive. Lee is quoted saying, I always wanted to be a photographer. I was fascinated with the materials, but I never dreamed I would be having this much fun. He took pride in his art and not because of the fame or attention he received, but simply because he found happiness doing it every day. Lee is not interested in the norms of photography or the rigidity of common techniques. Lee just enjoys what he does because he wants to connect his life to photography. He wants his art to be what he truly sees which is why he's keen on using black and white because it captures the lights and shadows that life moves through every day. This is significant and he attempts to capture the changing world in a candid form.